Don't come home from work and be like, where's my dinner? Not not today, Satan. Not today. I'm not in that. Okay? That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're going to eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Enjoy your life. Live it up. Don't let anybody get in your way. Like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. And put on your seatbelt because it's one hell of a ride. Hey guys, hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha and we are back with another video. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe if you would like. If you're new here, welcome to the family and thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. Yes. And Stephanie's going to tell you guys what we're doing today. Today we're going to be doing how to deal with my girlfriend's PMS attitude. Yes. Okay. So, we figured... People will need some tips on this. Yeah. We definitely have a lot of experience. Oh, we got a lot on this. Okay, yeah, you guys. Yeah. You see, it's two women, so we got double. Double. Double trouble. Double trouble. trouble. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, so you ready? Yes. Then let's get into the video. Baby, mm -hmm. you got to show your shirt. Oh. Inspire others. Hate less. All right, so let's start with talking about our experience with PMS. I would say that our experience with PMS has definitely changed for the better. <laughs> okay? Yes. Because in the beginning, beginning wait, what? And for those of you who don't think it's real, it is. This PMS is real. And it it's like, I feel like it's kind of a fucked up thing like, that yeah. we have to go through. It. Yeah. Well, let me tell you the differences between her PMS and my PMS. Mm -hmm. So, Tasha, like the day before, <sighs> irritable as hell. And I'll just be like, irritable like a newborn baby with a sh diaper on that's hungry. <laughs> right. Okay. So anytime her switch went from a regular person, like she's very calm, you know, very calm and like nothing really about just her. laid back nothing really about her at all. So yeah. when that day comes, you know it. Okay. You gotta run. Okay. She wake up like this. <laughs> You're like, oh fuck. <laughs> okay. And then me, I'm more of a I get post. Stephanie's uh -huh. more of afterwards. I don't even say she has too much of an attitude, but she's more like sad just for no reason at all. And I'm so looking like, sad. really? Are you crying because <laughs> the batteries are dead and the remote? Just yes. anything. I do get more needy during mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. Just throughout the whole time. I'm more needy. I need a lot of affection. I want you to be real on eggshells with me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm really sensitive right, during yeah. that time. And then at the end, I'm just uncontrollably fucking depressed. Like the worst depression that I, like I'm not even I don't even my, none of my life is about depression. Right. I'm happy as hell every day, y'all. Yeah. So then I just wake up wanting to cry and don't even know why. Right. My point of view about how I am, I'm just pissed. <laughs> yeah. You know you think about a lot of shit. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. yeah. So I I I, I wake up and. I start thinking about everything that's bad in my life, which is nothing in the world. Yeah, in the world. So I wake and I, I, I when I wake up, the world is on my shoulders. I think about hunger. I think about people getting abused. I think about things that I've gone through as a child. Usually, I'm able to think about these things and think about how can I change this or what can I do. When I'm PMSing, I just think about oh, this is so horrible. It's never gonna change. I hate people. Ninety percent of the time that you there's that time you always be like. Everything is going wrong. Like, I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. That's my cue in right there. Those right. words are my cue in that this is the time. Yes. Yeah, I never say that. I'm never hopeless. Mm -mm. But yeah. during that time, I'm hopeless as hell. <laughs> exactly. I mean, man, no I look like the change. channels on the ASPCA commercials. <laughs> For real. Just hopeless as <laughs> hell. Just. <laughs> For real. Y'all, yeah. so in the comments, let us know what your experience is with it. Yeah. Everybody's experience is obviously different because we have totally different experiences, yeah. but it's all, it's something emotional. Right. You know? Okay. <laughs> so, we got some tips here for you guys to, about how to deal with this and how to make dealing with somebody on PMS very manageable for both of you guys. Because mm -hmm. I think we have come a long way. We have like, come a long way. And what we're talking about, you guys, we've changed. So it's not the same anymore. I think I had horrible PMS for 
years until about what maybe a year ago maybe two years I, it hasn't okay. been that bad okay for a while you know? but it was bad yeah it was horrible like yeah. we would definitely always argue anytime either one of us was mm -hmm. over. yeah i would leave the house i would drive down the street and just sit in my car by the park for three or four hours just mad that was probably the only time we ever broke up was when somebody was being messy we didn't break up no fake break up Oh, you know what I'm saying? We didn't break. Like, but you know, you'd be like, I don't think this is gonna work out. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There will be, yeah, it would be like, you know what? I don't even, I don't even know if I can do this anymore and just leave. That's right, yeah. But like, too, look, maybe I'll yeah. come back and be like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They say it's a myth, but it's a real thing. She wants chocolate. Yeah. She wants chocolate. She wants potato chips. She wants ice cream, cake, cookies, and pies. Yes. So <laughs> what you need to do is before you come home, or if you are home, you need to leave home. <laughs> you need to go. You don't even. Have, I was about to say make a basket. You don't even have to make a basket. Go get her a bag. It can be a holy bag. It can be a trash bag. It don't even matter. Just fill that shit with some <laughs> chips, cookies, cakes, pies, candy, soda, and ice cream. And ice cream. And turn that shit upside down on the bed. She gonna eat it all. Okay. She okay. She's gonna be like, she is going to love you. Yes. That's gonna give her life. It's like when you lose that stuff that they lose, we lose during that time. It's like chocolate replenishes it. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So the last one, you guys, and this is probably the most important thing. And I feel like I've probably been asked this with everybody I've ever been with, male and female. Okay, so you start getting that attitude right, and the person says, you must be PMSing. Don't ever say that. Ever. <laughs> don't ever. Even though it's true, don't say it. Yeah, because they, first of all, they're going to deny it. And then they're going to be more upset with you than they've ever been in their life. Right. Because this doesn't happen to us. I remember her telling me, oh, you must be PMS. And boy, I must have wanted to bite her whole face off. Right. I, no, I'm not. That ain't why. This is the real, this is real thing. Yeah, and you, this is the thing. I'm going to tell y'all. When you are PMS and you really feel like you really feel that way. Like Stephanie be sitting there, they're dead crying, talking about, I don't even think you really love me. Why are you even in? Why are you? Why would you even ask to marry me? You don't even love me. I'm like, what are you talking about? You guys, another thing that Stephanie does, I had to lower my voice. She will come and try to kiss me. Unbeknownst to me, because I'm on my laptop doing something important. <laughs> and I'm chilling. I'm five, ten minutes doing whatever I'm doing. And I hear, <sighs> or maybe I hear, <sighs> Somebody's crying. I turn around, she's either crying or just looking mad as hell. I'm like, what's wrong, babe? She be like, you don't even love me. I, I just tried to kiss you and you just ignoring me. I didn't see you. I, I didn't I mean I didn't see you. Man, y'all gotta. But things have gotten better. Oh yeah, like this shit don't happen before. Yeah. Like I don't I don't think <laughs> we don't do anything that no nah, we we good like, it's, it's taking a while for things to get better but I think yeah. so I wanted to give them some alternatives to you must be PMSing okay okay so you see them acting crazy is everything okay sweetie I mean I don't know like did I do anything wrong no. yes okay is there anything I can do to make you happy today chocolate oh okay That's absolutely my dear sweet angel yes. I should do nothing to bring sadness or tears to your eyes for the next five days. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you. Okay. Hey. This will bring you peace during those five days. Guys. I, don't, I ain't even PMSing right now, but this back rub is everything right oh, now. Oh yeah, y'all can see that part. I'm doing this yeah. in the back. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. does a lot. She got my hair. You know, if you go to the face with it, you know. You know, you can even do that with it. Yeah. I saw somebody do this one time. That shit was. That shows the love, y'all. See the love? Yeah. You just gotta give them love. Well, however you know how to do it, okay? Hi, Julie. Y'all know how y'all in a relationship, y'all do some inside stuff. This is an inside thing we do, it's so stupid. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, let us know what you guys thought, and until next time, only good vibes.